All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yana. Yeah, you lot are doing oh so well, and welcome to today's video, which is uh, <clears throat> We Are the Champions. Nailed it. Chelsea's Champions League preview against Ajax, or the preview for Chelsea's game against Ajax in the Champions League. That works better. Away in the Johan Cruyff Arena in Amsterdam. Really, really big game. Difficult game. Chelsea are on a winning run, though and maybe they can carry that momentum through. And you know what, who knows? Maybe Lille will beat Valencia, opening up the group a little bit more for Chelsea, making things a little bit easier. But we're gonna talk about all of that today, or well, maybe not the last part, but we're gonna be previewing the match today in today's video. Quick reminder for you there to subscribe to Football Therapy if you have not yet subscribed to Football Therapy, as I upload Chelsea Football Club content every single day. Even if you're not a Chelsea fan, why not subscribe? Because eventually I will do some non-Chelsea videos again, eventually, I think. And why not like the video to help me out? <sighs> right then, the Champions League. Again, I echo the sentiment of how damaging that loss to Valencia was at home for Chelsea. Again, I went to that game. It was probably one of the most uninspiring performances I've seen from Chelsea for a long time. I know the stats might have been in Chelsea's favour, but for me... There was so much benign wing-back possession that I just figured nothing's going to happen here. I, I maintain my opinion of Frank Lampard bottling that game after the Wolves' performance, having a really successful result with that free, for, free formation and going, right, we need another positive result. We're going to use that again against Valencia. I think if maybe he beat Wolves 2-1 or got a draw or something away at Molyneux, which probably wouldn't have been the worst result in the world. He wouldn't have kept that formation to play against Valencia at home. I think just because it went so well against Wolves, he decided to keep the formation and it didn't work for him. Now, obviously, the three-back system has served Frank Lampard well at times. We'll talk about formations in a minute. But it's, it, it's anyone's guess what Frank Lampard's going to do against Ajax. And you know what? That's actually a good thing because it keeps the opposition guessing just like it keeps us guessing. But Ajax are no mugs, man. Everyone's still thinking like, oh, you know, they saw Matthias De Ligt, they saw Frankie de Jong. They're a weaker side now. Maybe the hype's gone. But the thing is, I think the feel-good factor still remains uh, in the Johan Cruyff Arena and the spirit of total football has been summoned still and you know what um what's his name what's his bloody name Ter Stegen no Ter Stegen the goalkeeper of Barcelona Ten Hag Eric Ten Hag <laughs> yeah I got there in the end I'll just cut that so I looked like I thought of it immediately when really I was standing here for a very long time Eric Ten Hag superb coach and yeah basically what I'm alluding to is Ajax is still no mugs and they're a very good side. Qualification out of this group is not a given at the moment for Frank Lampard. Really, out of this double header against Ajax, which is the next two games in the group stage for Chelsea, Chelsea need to be looking at maybe four points, I think. I think four points. I can't rely on the other games or the other two teams taking points off each other, so maybe Chelsea can settle in second. They've got to be aiming to win both games, not that Chelsea wouldn't aim to win a game but you know what i mean four points really let's talk about how these teams could line up in the johan cruyff arena and pull up that analysis screen whoosh all right so on the screen next to me i've put up the lineup that ten Hag sent out last time out in the eredivisie when they won 2-1 against another team that i can't be asked to try and pronounce the name now i fully expect ten Hag to employ the 4-3-3 again out against chelsea but I put like this lineup next to me. I don't think Huntelo will be starting. I think he's too big and immobile and you know whatever old and slow. I think Tadic will go back to the false nine role, which served him so so well last season domestically and indeed in Europe. I also see Neres coming off the bench or starting this game rather. I think it will be the strongest lineup. And there's a lot of you know dangerous players in there, man. Quincy Promise has been scoring goals for them. Obviously, they've got Hakim Ziyech, who really is still quite a worldly talent. Um, who else they got? Tadic and Donny van der Beek. They got a bunch of people. They're a really good side, and they've got that massive sort of. I don't know, electric belief about them. Like they said, like I said, rather, they've been summoning the spirit of Johan Cruyff for the last 18 months or whatever. <laughs> they will be looking to do fast combinational play and play with the ball, but also be incredibly threatening on the break. That's why I don't think they'll be playing Huntelaar against Chelsea um, midweek. 
So it's going to be very, very difficult on transition, which Chelsea have been better at, granted. But, you know, there is a danger they could get slapped here. Especially away from home, I'm just saying, hopefully not. But there's a danger, this is a huge test, and they're a good team, and it's a different proposition. And it's away in the Champions League, and Chelsea have loads of young, inexperienced players. Even though they won a Lille, you get what I'm saying. Blind and Veltman are a decent centre-back pairing. Certainly, they've been good for Ajax as well. I feel like maybe if they play with the ball, if Chelsea try and play on the break. You know what? Let's switch the graphic over to potential Chelsea lineups. Right, Chelsea could play either the 4 3 3 or the 3 4 3. I don't think Frank Lampard will be going for a 4 2 3 1 in this type of game. To be honest, although they didn't work against Valencia, I reckon the free back system might work here. If Frank Lampard is willing to concede a bit of possession away, then maybe he'll be looking to do good on the transition going from defense to offense with really wide play, good combinational play on the break, hence a 3-4-3. Three, three. But Chelsea are comfortable, well I say comfortable, they're very, very brave and obviously Frank Lampard's come up twice against the champions of Europe and Liverpool with a 4-3-3 three, three system, a compact sort of mobile 11 or 10 rather that move around together, much like Sarri's uh, Chelsea. And that could work maybe. I'm not sure how many similarities there are with Liverpool and Ajax. I mean, both want to play with the ball and do fast combinations. But Liverpool have actually developed over the last sort of year, more, you know, 18 months in terms of how they're more defensive. They're good on the break. So I don't know if they're going to be exactly the same. Point being, both these formations could work for Frank Lampard against Ajax. Personnel is a hard one to call now. Guilty, I'm doing this video before Frank Lampard's press conference. So yes, the injuries might be, people might be out, people might be in. You know, you guys nail me in the comments for this. So I'm just gonna talk about formations and a few talking points about player personnel. I, at the beginning of the season, really did think Olivier Giroud would be the man in Europe. Not only because he was the top goal scorer in the Europa League last season and he was very, very good, but his physical presence and his tactical, well, just his, not so much tactical, but it's now how he's savvy in the box. Might serve Chelsea really well in Europe. But the thing is, he's looking third choice at the moment. I actually think he might go in January, which is a very peculiar position for Olivier Giroud to be in. First choice for the world champions in France, yet can't get a sniff in any competition at the moment for Chelsea. Maybe it's to do with his lack of mobility, because let's be honest, you know, he never had any pace to lose, even at Arsenal. So really, I don't think he'll choose Batshuayi as a first choice, so it's going to be Tammy Abraham, I think. I'd be much more surprised to see Batshuayi start this game than Olivier Giroud, which sounds weird because Batshuayi has been getting minutes and Giroud hasn't, but Giroud seems like an option, like a very seasoned, accomplished player and a different option to play in this game. Whereas Batshuayi is a really good goal threat or you know, coming off the bench, but at the moment he doesn't really offer so much by himself in isolation. Like, Tammy's obviously knows the system very well. He's good at combining with his mates and he's, you know, he's in form. Shiru offers something completely different, but you know what he offers. And Batshuayi is somewhere in the middle, like he's just a sort of I'm not, I don't want to like denigrate him, but at the moment he's just being used as an additional goal threat coming off the bench. So, you know, I'd, like I said, I'd be more surprised to see Batshuayi start than Giroud, but let's be honest, it's probably going to be Tammy Abraham. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about Giroud in this instance. As it stands, the injury list is N'Golo Kante, Antonio Rudiger, Emerson and Christensen and Barkley, I think. But they, one of those players can make a return. Maybe, maybe most notably Emerson. If Frank Lampard rules this out in the press conference, don't roast me. But maybe Emerson will start at left back or left wing back. But if Chelsea play a free back system, I think he'll play Alonso at left wing back. So who knows? In these potential lineups, I'll put, you know, player slash player. Who knows? But the point is, in this game, Chelsea could play a variety of players and there needs to be some rotation. I know Lampard's been doing this whole, oh, they're really young, I'll play them in the Champions League, I'll play them in the Premier League, Champions League, Premier League, Cup. He has been doing a lot of that. But, you know, maybe maybe a Rhys James at right back for mobility. But to be honest, he'll probably want the seasoned defensive nous of Azpilicueta. So, 
anything anyone's guess but the point is i know in terms of this is the first proper like lineup prediction that i could say who knows again with frank lampard it's very difficult to predict but you know you decide get in the comments who do you think is going to play in what formation i do want to talk about the important talking points of how this game will go so let's get rid of that analysis screen and get into that right then very very difficult away from home intimidating atmosphere good possession side with fast combinations and lethal technical ability dangerous on the defensive to offensive transition where Chelsea are vulnerable Chelsea are obviously most vulnerable on set piece defending although trying to remember back with Ajax their most threatening players on set pieces I can only really think of Matthias De Ligt obviously a big player like Hunter I think that that player won't be playing and Matthias De Ligt was always getting his head on corners but obviously he's not there anymore so I'm not sure how threatening Ajax are on set pieces so although that's a big Achilles heel for Chelsea we're not playing against the Galactico Burnley here so <laughs> I don't think there's too much concern with that really with Chelsea it's leaving space between the lines and being frail on transition which could be the case against Ajax like I said in terms of like a big test in terms of a cultured footballing total football attacking possession style team it's gonna be Ajax isn't it and although they're not this, as strong theoretically as they were last season they're still playing very very well and against this Chelsea side that are in their infancy in terms of the Frank Lampard project huge test I'm gonna do a score prediction here I think Chelsea one way or another are gonna try and be smart with the way they set up I think there will be goals inevitably um, and I hope Chelsea will score a couple I think they can't keep him out so I think I'm going for a 2-2 draw which would be a massive point away in the Johan Cruyff arena and hopefully Chelsea can win at home which will be huge for them ultimately taking the four points perhaps needed against Ajax but what do you think get in the comments below and let me know your score predictions alongside perhaps what formation you think Frank Lampard will play a reminder to you guys to join the discord if you want to the football therapy discord you do it via patreon it costs one dollar you talk to me loads of other chelsea fans about football chelsea and all other stuff click that link below remember you can follow me on social media at football yannick on both twitter and instagram at football yannick if you've enjoyed today's content please do like the video subscribe if you are new i'm out guys you not enjoy the football and i will see you later Way so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me back